Hey Stampers! Today I'm going to give my stamp club for this week a sneak peek at one of the cool cards that they're going to make and hopefully share something new with all of you as well. This is the card we're going to make. It's called a swing card or a cutout swing card. Works like this. Very pretty stamp set. And the card that I'm making from what I understand in my research, the original template for the card came from a demonstrator named Dawn Olszewski. Um, her website is DO Stamping. And this card is kind of a combination um, of two demonstrators that I um, had seen online. I know one was Frenchie Martin and the other one I'm not sure, I'm sorry, um, just copying their designs and kind of combining the two together. So let me show you how to make this cool card. So what we're going to do is I'm using the new stamp set called Layered Labels, this large stamp. Um, I'm using also a stamp from the Biddy Banners. I'm using various framelits for our Big Shot and the colors that I've used here are Soft Suede and Bashful Blue. I'm going to start by folding my card in half. Now what I've done is taken a regular 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock I cut it in half lengthwise, so that would be four and a quarter by 11 inches. Fold it in half. Of course, you want to run the bone folder over it for a nice crease. And then I'm going to take what's going to be the front flap, and I'm going to fold it backwards to meet the crease. So fold it in half again, crease that downwards. The first thing I want to do is make some cuts. Let me show you the framelit. This is from the Apothecary Accent Set. And this is the large stamp from the Layered Labels. I've stamped it twice, actually. I'm going to go ahead and cut this one out so that you can see how to use a framelit. And then I'll use the framelit again on our card. So I've stamped this in Early Espresso ink. And when you use a framelit, you want to have your Big Shot multi-purpose platform all the tabs closed. Unfortunately, <laughs> Mine's broken, so I just throw it on there, but it would be all, the, all of the tabs closed. Plus, you also need your two acrylic cutting pads to make your sandwich. I always call it a sandwich because here you have your two slices of bread, your meat, and your cheese. So I'm going to put my meat on there, place my cheese just where I want it so that it fits over the stamp and kind of hides my... Um, inky lines that I made by pressing too hard and rocking my stamp. Here's another little trick that I learned online, I believe since my last video of showing you how to use the new heart framelits. This is really cool. Little post-it notes to hold this framelit in place. Some people were having uh, trouble this thing was moving once they crank it through the big shot and then it would be offset. So I put it on the big shot, hold it in place. This is basically how you use a framelit complete our sandwich on the multi-purpose platform that has all of the tabs closed. Crank it through. I'm going to get that nice cut out piece. Keep my post-its for another time. Okay, and there's my cut out piece. Now for the card. So what I'm going to do here is open my card up, place the framelit down, on the bent piece, on the folded flap. And I'm going to try to center it as best I can, hold it in place again with my post-its. But here's the trick. If you put the cutting mat, you know what the cutting mat does with the Big Shot is it gives it one extra layer of thickness so everything is pushed up underneath the rollers and then it presses down and makes a cut. So. I don't want to actually put the cutting mat on the whole piece as I normally do because then I'd have that whole shape cut out, it would be gone. I need to have a piece that remains on the card and makes a cut down here. So what I need to do, I'm going to try to shove this through because the trick is to place your cutting mat only where you want it to be cut, which is from this fold down. So I'm going to put it right up against that crease and I have to kind of push down on this and push it through. And sometimes it moves, so I'm hoping it goes right up to the crease. Push it through. Oh, darn it. Oh well, you're going to see how I make mistakes and how I fix it. Let me show you what happened. When I pushed it through, 
the cutting mat only came down here, you can kind of even see the crease there, um, which isn't what I wanted. So what do you do? Well, for sake of a video, I'll do this. So I'll snip. I mean, I know it was an oval shape, right? So snip, snip, up to the crease. All right, so card is folded. This one comes back. And there's my piece where I'm going to glue my other piece that I just showed you how to cut out. And we need to move on because if you noticed on my original card, there was also some embossing, but only on here. So let's do that. When you use an embossing folder, your Big Shot, Big Shot Sandwich consists of tab one, your two slices of bread, and your meat, and your cheese. And in this case, the cheese is the fancy fan um, embossing folder. Now, here's how I work, right? I put it in, go to put it in my Big Shot, and oh, the new ones are wider just pointing that out to you <laughs> so that you don't think that it's you uh, or your machine. It's the new embossing folders are, are a bit wider than they used to be. So turn it this way. You want the Sizzix name and the Stampin' Up! logo to be on that front. So let me just tuck that in there. I don't really care if that gets embossed because I'm going to glue something down onto it anyway. So sending it through so that it fits. The design goes up to the crease finish my sandwich off with my piece of bread, so to speak, or the acrylic cutting pad, send it through. We should only get embossing on that one little section. Aha, there we go. Okay, so the card closes, flips back, and we have embossing on that one section. So now what I'm going to do is take the one piece. I had already started this one before. I did add a little bit of color. Some of you don't like to color. Um, don't fret. With our nice brush markers, all you really have to do is kind of, you know, rub it here and there just like a paintbrush. Treat it like a paintbrush. Go gentle. Don't, um, you know, don't press down on them. You don't want the tips to go hiding. Okay, go in hibernation. Sometimes that happens to mine. I have some aggressive stampers. Okay, so more or less, I've just added color. I can always go back and touch up if I'd like. Okay, then I'm going to grab my snail. And I'm going to attach that right through the opening with the card the way it would be open and so that it matches up with the cutout piece. There we go. Okay, so that that will open. Oh, but we have a bare back. So on the back what I did is I had cut out a second one. This time I did not put any um, color into it because I added color a different way. Let me just show you what I did and I'll show you the finished project again. I took a piece of vanilla scrap and I stamped on it the For You, also from the Layered Label set in the Bashful Blue. I also stamped the Happy Birthday banner from the Bitty Banners, Bitty Bitty Banner set. And then I have two framelits, again from the Apothecary Accent set, and also from the Bitty Banner set. Remember when you use the framelits, always put that little knife or cutting edge down. You don't want it to get jammed up into one of your acrylic pads. That would be bad. Okay, and then I would cut those out the way I showed you before, and you'd have those two pieces. Okay. Here's that light blue piece. Here's the bitty banner. Now in between there, I took that same For You stamp, stamped it in Early Espresso ink on soft suede cardstock. I'm not worried that the whole stamp didn't fit because I only want that small oval. Okay, and so that would be layered, as you see here. And then I embellished a little bit with some of the vintage trinkets. Um, or you could also use any brads that you like. Pearls even would look pretty on this card. And then for the light blue um, or the bashful blue insert, I just want to show you that that design is just about that much of this stamp. I just hung it off the edge. Okay, so there you have what we're making, one of the cards we're making in my stamp clubs this week. Combination of several demonstrators on the internet. Thank you for their great ideas and letting me case or copy and share everything. Um, that they do, and I hope you all enjoy it. Have fun making the swing card.